there wig lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Royale wig from Clary's Wigs and this is in the color 10 slash 6 which is a really nice blend of a medium brown, natural medium brown, they're all natural colors at Clary's and a 10 which is a really soft sort of um, almost like a light almost ashy brown but uh, it just helps keep the color from going too warm because the really nice thing about that six is it's a natural color so it's got a little bit of natural warmth in it so it's very very pretty I love the way this one moves because this is a natural curl pattern this is a naturally curly uh, European virgin human hair wig so not only are the colors completely natural, but so is the hair texture. So I mean, <laughs> it's it's bounce worthy, is what I'm getting at. Uh, official term, TM. It's just uh, it's a really nice curly, you know, shoulder length delicious style. So before we do anything else, let me go ahead and do a little turn for y'all on the catwalk so you can see what Royale looks like on all sides. This wig is totally air dryable. So when you wash it and condition it, you know, you can just spritz it and then smush it with your fingers. Um, I mean, heck, to revitalize this curl, all you'd have to do is put water on it. And then do this with your fingers. You know, sound effects, optional, but I have a bad habit of just going which probably makes me look insane if people walk past my bathroom while I'm doing it. I probably make that face too. I'm not really going to cop to that, but perhaps I just did. So, anyhow, before I embarrass myself any further, let me show you a little vignette I've made that describes what makes these wigs so unique, the cap construction, and all that jazz. I'd like to take a moment to tell you why Cleary's wigs are so special. I'm wearing a runway long, by the way, in the color 14.8. I'm going to use another runway long in 10.6 to demonstrate what the caps on these Clary's wigs look like. These wigs are called shadles, um, which are, if you're unfamiliar with the term, means that these are wigs made specifically for Orthodox Jewish women to help them cover their hair. Once they get married, Jewish tradition is that they cover their hair because that's something special for their husband. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, but that's also why these caps are completely closed. So there's closed mesh, the caps are closed, and because they're meant to go over a full head of hair, and this is really important about sizing, you want to make sure you, you take that into consideration when you're picking the size for your Clary's wig because their average cap size are meant to go over a full head of hair. And because of that, they're a little roomy on the inside. They stretch a lot. They fit me perfectly. Like I have an average large cap size. My circumference is 23 and a half inches. And so because of that, um, their average cap size fits me gorgeously because it's so roomy. But if you already kind of find yourself swimming in an average cap size, get the small cap size. Luckily, all Clary's wigs come in three cap sizes. They come in small, medium, and large. The great thing though is because Clary's as a company knows that you're investing a fair amount of money in their products, they can customize these wigs for you. Um, and you'll be working directly with their customer support if you purchase one of their wigs. If you need those customizations, they'll do them for you in their Brooklyn headquarters. So that's pretty cool. So not only do you get um, you know, that support with your purchase, but you get to make sure that the wig actually fits you right, which is lovely. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, 
um, and all the videos where this little vignette is posted. Um, this is virgin European human hair. So the colors have not been dyed at all, even their reds and blondes are natural. And because of that, they have a beautiful feel to them. Uh, the denier of the fiber is also coincidentally quite fine because European hair is very fine compared to Asian hair or Indian hair. You know, but as long as you're using the right kind of hair products on your wig, you should be fine. Try to look for wig safe care products, that's usually the best way to go. And even though this is virgin, it does not mean that it hasn't been chemically processed. All of the hair has been processed for hygiene purposes for sale in the United States. It. So. It's not been color processed and it's not been permed. And the same goes for all Clary's wigs in all their colors. So let's talk some more about cap construction features. Clary's wigs are all made more or less the same way. When they arrive at your home, they're going to ha have a comb in the front, and some also have additional pressure sensitive clips built in at the ear tabs. Another thing that's really great about Clary's wigs is that they're, they're French drawn, which means that they're double drawn tops. Um, so in case you don't know what that means, it means that the monofilament Okay, so the it's actually got three layers to it. The bottom layer is like a French lace. On top of that lace, you've got monofilament, and on top of that monofilament, you've got some silk chiffon that's in a flesh color. And so what they do is, um, first they take the layer with the, the monofilament and the silk chiffon, and then they sew the hair through it, and then they tie the knot. So that way, um, it's kind of like an inversion of the regular knot. The knots are on the underside. So that way, uh, when you draw through the top layer, you don't see any knots. It just looks like a scalp. Which is a really nice feature. It's, it looks super duper natural on. These wigs have a ton of hair on them, so please don't be shocked if they shed a little bit, especially the first couple times you wash and wear and, and brush them. Um, and just FYI, you should almost always use a brush on human hair wigs. Um, a paddle brush is great. The John Renault paddle brush is really wonderful for human hair wigs. Um, and detangling should be done with a wide tooth comb. Right. Um, they don't have lace fronts. And if I had to cite one thing about them that I wish they had, I wish that they had lace fronts. But I still think they look really natural. That French drawn top does a lot to enhance the realism of this hair. Um, I also think that they're more comfortable because they don't have a lace front. Um, but you know, you can always incorporate an eye band or something like that to your Clary's wig, and that would give you a lace front if you know you purchase one of these because they don't come with one right away. Um, these are just stunning on. They look really glam, really beautiful. And they have lots of wigs that have really gorgeous natural curl patterns. Well, the great thing about those is that you don't have to do much to style them. Just get them wet, scrunch them with your fingers. They're good to go. Um, I wanted to take a moment to show you how effortless these Clary wigs are to take care of. In this particular instance, this is my wig. This is a Clary's Runway, the regular runway, not the runway long, in the color 3032. This is a wig that I have washed, not once, but twice to make sure all the, the any silicone from the factory was washed off. And I let it air dry. And then all I did, by the way, on this particular wig, I used Beauty Mark products to wash it. So the only products I put on in terms of like um, shine, serums, or glossers, I put a little bit of um, the Beauty Mark Shine Serum on the ends. And then I put Simply Style and Silicone Serum on the wig before it dried while it was still damp and brushed it through with a John Renault paddle brush. Then I scrunched it gently with my fingers to kind of get a really nice wavy texture. And then I just let it go. And so let me show you what this looks like with that minimal amount of muss and fuss and absolutely zero heat styling. If you're a human hair lover, you may be like, why should I buy these Clary's wigs? Well, it's because you can 
air dry them and run your fingers through them afterwards. That's a big plus. <laughs> They're, they're not um, super hard to take care of. You just have to put a little bit of, of maybe um, some, some kind of humidity protectant on them. That's basically all human hair because I mean, I live in Georgia. The minute I walk outside, my glasses fog up in the summer. <laughs> so it's like a jungle, literally outside. So a little bit of something like that Simply Style and I mentioned, just brush it through while it's damp. That ought to be enough to protect it from the elements so it doesn't frizz up while you're walking out and about. And by the way, this has been outside a couple of times since then and I can still run my fingers through it. Look at that. Look at that. I can run my fingers through this and it feels really good still. It didn't get all frizzy and puffy and the natural texture on this runway combined with the cut with the layering is just really pretty. So this is what this one looks like when you take minimal care of it and you only have to wash it and, and let it dry like this. Just for the record, for probably about mm, twice a month, maybe if you wear this every day, you don't have to wash this one every day. Um, and you wanna make sure you give your, your wig ample time to dry if you plan to air dry it because that extra layer of material in the French top, the same goes with all French tops by the way, will make it dry a little bit more slowly. And this is the big deal in the 16, 12, 10. Again, this is my wig. I have washed this wig not once, not twice, but three times to see um, if it would poof up and get all frizzy and gross. And while I did experience a little bit of tangling with some of the blonde hair, and I think honestly, it's because that blonde hair has got a little bit more of a fine denier than the rest of the hair in this particular composition. I still think it's virgin hair. It still feels really nice. And this air dried, this texture, this is air dried. Pretty nice, right? <laughs> So um, it's still in pretty great shape. I could still run my fingers through it, as you can see here. I don't want to too much though, because I like the waves and the curls in this one. Um, and what I did to get this particular curl pattern, this is not the natural curl pattern of this particular wig, but curly and wavy wigs, I don't know if you, ha if you have naturally curly hair, but it doesn't matter what kind of curl pattern you put in it, they will, they will hold it very easily. You don't really have to apply heat. So in this case, I took a little bit of, sim uh, by the way, I used John Renault's Argan Luxury products when I washed this um, all three times and it turned out great. So when um, you want to style this or let it dry overnight, uh, I took a little bit of Simply Style and Cyril Lacone serum, not the spray, but the actual concentrated serum. I put it on my hands while the, the wig was still wet and I ran it through this wig and then I took the John Renault paddle brush and thoroughly brushed it gently, <laughs> brushed it all the way through the hair. And then I took about one inch sections of the hair and I twisted it and I just let it, you know, cause it's, it held. I didn't have to, you know, pin it in place or anything. I just did that all the way around the wig and this is the texture I ended up with. You know, I just loosely combed it out with my fingers to get it to look a little bit more like boho waves. But how easy is that? This is no heat styling, no like gunky stiff products. This is how it dried. <laughs> so beautiful wigs, great texture on this big deal. I do wanna mention though, that when you wash this wig a few times, the flex comb is only glued in, so it might come loose. I had that experience with this particular big deal that in and of itself though, not actually a big deal because you could just sew the flex comb in with a needle and thread if you really want it in there. So for the price and the quality of hair you're getting, this is pretty excellent. This wig is the Smooth River by Clary's. And again, this is my personal wig that I have washed twice just to kind of test it out, see how it works. Um, and this is its texture when you air dry it. Now I did apply a little bit of Simply Style into it. Um, and I did spray a little bit of MV Renew and Repair at the end specifically because the, you know, human hair wigs are all a little bit different. They're as individual as the, the people who grew the hair and what they ate, where they live, how they slept, what their hormones were like. So I mean, even if it is virgin hair, every wig's gonna behave a little bit differently. And I've noticed that this particular wig, the hair's a little bit more coarse that's not really abnormal for a naturally wavy head of red hair that grows naturally. You know that if you've ever met a natural redhead, that's kind of how that goes. So, you know, the hair texture doesn't bother me. And in fact, it didn't frizz out when I went outside and walked around with it. It still looks really nice. Um, but just bear in mind, you may want to put a little bit of some kind of humidity protectant on the ends specifically so it doesn't get real fuzzy. This wig has a ton of hair on it. 
it moves beautifully as you can tell I can't stop putting my fingers through it um, and this was air dried so before I do anything else let me show you how smooth river looks after you've washed her a couple times um, and air dried her This color is luscious. Smooth River is a beautiful wig. She's very popular. But if you like easy boho waves, I think that the big deal that's hanging out on the mannequin head back there is probably your best bet, to be perfectly honest. You know, in most cases, if you're going for European virgin human hair, you're gonna spend a lot more <laughs> than you will on these Clary's wigs. So what for what you're getting, for the hair quality, for that French top, and everything else and the longevity you're gonna get with one of these wigs. I think this is a beautiful investment. That's why I personally now own five of them. <laughs> I own five of them. I've been binging on them and I've been watching them, playing with them, heat styling them, just kind of going to town with them. So that way I could test them out to tell you how they wear. And they wear really easily and they're really, really nice. So I do think that, you know, if you're saving your pennies for a rainy day to get some very nice human hair, this is a pretty safe bet, really. And the colors that are on our website are all colors I have personally tested. So if you have any questions at all, please be sure to contact our help desk. That's just support at sisterwigs.zendesk.com. And now let's finish out this video. Another thing I want to mention is they have no permatease in them at all. So that makes these look very natural on. And like I mentioned, they're closed in the back. They have kind of like this stretchy material. They are they are wefted in the back. So they're not 100% hand-tied wigs. They just have French drawn tops. They all have extended napes with hook enclosures that you can use in the back to adjust the wig. Um, and another really interesting trait of the Clary's wigs, and you'll notice it at the nape here, it's kind of written in, and you'll notice it also right underneath the comb at the front hairline. Um, Every single Clary's wig has a unique number. And I'm not just talking about the product SKU. I mean, each individual wig is numbered as if they're collector's items. And this is good because it helps cut down on counterfeiting. Um, it, it is an anti-counterfeiting anti measure. And it allows Clary's to track every single wig they manufacture from the moment they're made in the factory to when they sell them and where they go and beyond. And that's Fantastic, because that means that, you know, throughout the life of your wig, not just when you originally buy it, but throughout the life of your wig, as long as it's got a valid number on it, they will give you support for care tips and for, um, you know, helping you prolong the life of it. And if you need any customizations, I mean, they might charge you for the customizations, but you know, they'll support it because they know it came from their factory, which is great. Just bear in mind that anything that is made custom for you specifically, whether that's customized for size or, you know, customized for style or color, anything that's made custom specifically for you cannot be returned or exchanged for any reason. And I think that that, you know, only makes sense because if it's something made per your specifications, you know, I'm going to be really hard pressed to try to find somebody to buy it if you decide to return it. So, you know, just bear that in mind. Otherwise, just get something off the shelf because they're pretty all on their own. Like these are luscious wigs. They air dry beautifully. You know, I'm kind of obsessed with this runway long. I think that it's kind of divine <laughs> but you know hopefully this is one of those situations where I don't really have to tell you that it looks really great because I think that the visual is probably proof in and of itself and again here's a look at the top of this again all Clary's wigs have the same cap construction with the exception of some have clips and combs and others only have the comb but they're all gonna have that comb at the front hairline so again let us know in advance if you don't want the comb that wouldn't be considered a customization per se we could we could have Clary's take that out before they send it to you and also bear in mind that because you know this is a scarce resource human hair is especially when we're talking reds and blondes um, if you order a color that they 
you know, have to buy specifically to make a wig for you, please anticipate that it may take a little while to arrive. It could take up to, you know, six to 10 weeks for things that are really scarce that they don't have on hand. So if you ever are curious about a style, please contact us in advance. So that way we can look into the inventory for you and tell you what colors they have on hand. But I can also tell you that it's worth the wait. If you're gonna spend this much and invest in a wig that will probably be with you for years, not just months, but years with a single wig, it's probably a you know worthwhile thing to just kind of wait it out until you can get the color and the style that you really love and that way it's worth every penny to you so a couple more things to keep in mind you don't need to wash these wigs every stinking day don't don't do that only wash them about twice a month because you have to keep in mind these aren't actually coming in contact with the oils on your scalp uh, especially if you wear a wig cap underneath them. So you wanna make sure that you're not drying it out by using the wrong products or by washing too frequently. It's just not necessary in a wig like this. You can definitely use heat tools on it. It looks great when you put hot rollers in it. That's all pretty awesome. These are great wigs for people who have androgenic alopecia, by the way, because most people with female pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia also have uh, intact hairlines even if it's thin behind the hairline so it gives you a place to put that comb and it gives you really good coverage up here so you know you have something to put the clips on if you have uh, androgenic alopecia so these are really great wigs for that sort of thing um, so you don't necessarily have to be a practicing you know observing orthodox Jew in order to take advantage of these shadles they make really wonderful wigs uh, for people who just want princess dream luscious amazing thick full hair <laughs> it's good stuff um all right moving on welcome back so as you can see this wig has a lot of virtues um, and if the clips or the combs bug you remember you can always just take those out with the seam ripper i know that sounds really dramatic but it's not you know and you can get a seam ripper in a dime store sewing kit that will do the job just as well because i mean the threads that attach those clips in place they're not structural parts of the wig itself so as long as you're careful about doing it they're easy to remove um i'm heather i'm from sisterwigs.com that's c-y-s-t-e-r-w-i-g-s.com um i searched all over the world to try to find the best brands and the best values to bring to you so when you shop my site just know that we don't carry every single wig from every brand that we carry and we don't carry every brand that we could carry i cherry pick the living daylights out of every wig that's on my site so that way i think you're always getting the best deal i mean that's just my opinion but a lot of work goes into making sure that you're choosing from a really nice selection on our site and this has been the lovely naturally curly and super fun royale wig from clary's wigs in the color 106 and as i mentioned this is a natural color it's a blend between two different brunette shades a light sort of ashy brown in addition to a really lovely slightly warm natural medium brown this is a great wig i gotta say it feels like a cloud it's very very soft it breathes well it's hot as the dickens outside right now I, I wanted to do this shoot with like a really sparkly cardigan on and i had to take it off because i'm right next to a window it's like 102 degrees outside and it feels like i'm still on the center of the sun even though i'm indoors because that that heat is just coming off the window that badly um but i gotta tell you i don't really feel that warm in this wig you know i felt warm in the sweater but I don't feel warm in this wig. It's very light on, and even though it's got a little bit of floofiness going on, um, it's it just has a really nice density, a really nice feel to it. So if you like, you know, wigs with a little bit of texture and a little bit of volume to them, but you don't want permatease, which these don't have, thank goodness, and you don't want super heavy hair because you know you overheat or because you live in a hot area like i do then this is a great choice so thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great afternoon oh and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already uh, i look forward to seeing you next time Bye bye